When you think about cybersecurity, you probably imagine really boring images like this. But there's a much better way to think about it. Instead, imagine this. Imagine a castle as a super secure computer network. Inside that castle is the data. Let's call it the crown jewels. With all that security, how would you get in? Well, you might use a secret passageway. In other words, a back door. So what is a cyber back door? Let's ask a woman who once led a Homeland Security team protecting the US from them. So you've built your castle, you've built the moat around it, and all of your guards looking out, ready to defeat any adversary, except that you've got somebody inside the castle who has actually dug a tunnel and hidden it, and that is a kind of a back door. Cyber back doors can be built through software or hardware. The fears around them are growing daily, and there's one company that keeps coming up in the headlines, the world's biggest telecoms firm, Huawei. Around the world, the Chinese giant is facing scrutiny, restrictions, or even bans. So where does this fear come from? Well, it's not about Huawei phones. It's about the kit being installed and tested around the world to build the next generation of mobile internet, 5G. 5G technology is going to fundamentally support every aspect of our lives. Brian Lord is a former deputy head of GCHQ. He spent more than 20 years at the cyber spy organization. In Huawei, um, are one of the world leaders in 5G technology. The problem with Huawei, amongst others, is that its connection with the Chinese state, although Huawei continue to insist they are a completely private company, are still very, very opaque and therefore create a level of distrust. A lot of the concern centers around this man, Ren Zhengfei, the billionaire founder of the company. Mr. Ren has been on an interview spree lately He's a big supporter of China's Communist Party and a former technician in the Chinese military, but he's been trying to reassure people that despite his connections, he would never allow backdoors to be installed in his products for the government. So how dangerous can cyber backdoors really be? Well, here are some doomsday scenarios. A backdoor to the inner walls of our cyber castle could give spies access to phone calls or internet communications. It might be possible to maliciously damage or even cripple the way information is shared. And some even fear a sort of kill switch that could take out large chunks of the network. Huawei denies that any of this could or would happen. And as well as spending billions on improving security, it started fighting back. Today, Huawei announced it has filed a lawsuit against the US government. Yet the company is suing US authorities for banning its equipment, but winning trust is proving difficult. A lot of it seems to come down to the perceived culture of the company. For years, it and the Chinese government have been accused of intellectual property theft. And right now in the US, a court case is taking place with Huawei accused of bank fraud, obstruction of justice and the theft of technology. But none of that has anything to do with cyber back doors. So is there any proof that this is a real danger? There's been no smoking gun. I would not be the least bit surprised if the Chinese government is holding off on using its advantage that it might have with Huawei. Some China analysts believe the technology fears are masking a bigger power struggle. China was in that catch-up phase, but nowadays it's in the face of rather formidable competitors with the Western companies. And I think the so-called liberal democracy feel deeply uncomfortable about it. The Chinese government says these sorts of allegations are all about politics. They even invoke Jane Austen in their defence. The allegations, an official said, are part of a deep-rooted pride and prejudice against China. Regardless of how relations develop, 5G is coming. And there's a concern in the telecoms world that the countries that decide to block Huawei's state-of-the-art kit will be leagues behind those that embrace it.